everyone i hope everyone is doing well in this video we will learn what is moment of inertia and how we find or how we calculate moment of inertia for different shape in the previous video we were uh, we, we we saw that what is centroid and how we locate the centroid of different common geometrical shape and composite shape so moment of inertia or it is also known as second moment of area it is again a geometrical property this property uh, it is actually the, the measure of the efficiency of cross section of any shape to resist bending if there is a bending in any shape like we are discussing in this course beam so how the cross sectional of the beam resist bending that property or that major efficiency measurement is known as uh, moment of inertia now similar to the centroid the moment of inertia of common geometrical shape it is provided in the table and it is been calculated by integral calculus and it is available to us so if we have a circle let's say the cross sectional area of the beam is a circle and it has a diameter t right this is the cross sectional area of any beam or any shape and it has a diameter d so what is the moment of inertia this moment of inertia we are finding or we whatever i will show you is about the centroidal axis so we have the horizontal centroidal axis here so about this horizontal centroidal axis the moment of inertia of a circular shape is pi d4 pi d4 by 64 this is already provided if you see your book uh, it is also available in your book if we have a square shape if this is the cross section area of the beam which we are exposing to the uh, to bending and its one side is a so what will be the moment of inertia for this it will be a4 by 12 if we have a rectangle and this side is let's say base and this is the height so its moment of inertia about horizontal centroidal axis let's say this is the centroidal axis horizontal centroidal axis even for the square so here we have the moment of inertia is equal to bh cube by 12 if we have a triangle let's say we have a triangle right so this side is b this is h if this is the height and here we have base so what will be the moment of inertia b h cube by 36 b h cube by 36 now again here the moment of inertia is about the horizontal centroidal axis so let's centroid will be where where the median cuts each other so here is the centroidal axis now for the common geometrical shape it is available in the table and it is easy to find if let's say we want to find for any rectangle let's say we have a rectangle this is a rectangle right and the base of the rectangle let's say it is 30 30 mm height is 20 mm and if somebody asked to find the moment of inertia of this rectangular shape about horizontal centroidal axis so here we have the horizontal centroidal axis let's say we want to find the moment of inertia keep it in mind we represent moment of inertia with i so i for this rectangle is equal to b h cube divided by 12 so you just put the value in this so b we have 30 h is 20 cube divided by 12 so this will be equal to i and we represent with ic because it is the moment of inertia about horizontal centroidal axis and horizontal centroidal axis we are using so this if you do the calculation we will see ic is equal to if you do 30 times 20 cube divided by 12 you get 20000 and it will be millimeter 4 why millimeter 4 we have here base right so which is millimeter and we have height cube so which is millimeter 
cube. So millimeter cube into millimeter, we get millimeter four. So this is how we find the moment of inertia of this rectangle about its horizontal centroidal axis. Now it is easy to find the moment of inertia about any shape, the common geometrical shape about centroidal axis because the formula is given in the table and we find uh, it by just changing the values there. Now the question here is if it is asked to find the moment of inertia of let's say the same rectangle about not the, the horizontal centroidal axis about any other axis and that other axis can be here outside the shape can be here inside the shape can be here it can be anywhere so if it is asked to find the moment of inertia of any shape about any other axis which is not the centroidal axis then how we find the moment of inertia in that case we use parallel axis theorem right we use parallel axis theorem and that parallel axis theorem gave us the moment of inertia of any shape about any axis right other than the centroidal axis and that parallel axis theorem we have a formula which says that moment of inertia i about any axis is equal to ic ic is the moment of inertia about centroidal axis plus a d square now what is a a is the area of the shape if it is rectangular shape so we will use the area of that rectangular shape if it is triangle, if it is square, circular, whatever shape is, that is the area. What is D? D is the distance. So let me write I C. I C here is the moment of inertia about centroidal axis. Centroidal axis. A is what? A is the area of the shape. A is the area of the shape. Now D, D is the distance between two axes. Which two axes? The axis about which we want to find the moment of inertia, which is not the centroidal axis. Let's say, let's say we have here the same rectangle, right? And let's say somebody asked to find the, the moment of inertia of this rectangle about this axis, right? Let's say this axis is x dash x. And this is a rectangle and here is the horizontal centroidal axis. Now what is D? D is the distance between the two axes, this axis and the axis about which we want to find the moment of inertia. So this is D, right? Which is D square here in the formula. So D is the distance between two axes. Distance between two axes. So to find moment of inertia about any other uh, axis other than the centroidal axis, we use parallel axis theorem and parallel axis theorem tell us that moment of inertia is equal to the moment of inertia of that shape about centroidal axis plus a d square a is the area of the shape d is the distance between the two axes so if you want to find the moment of inertia of that shape or let's say this shape we will solve this problem okay so now we have a rectangle and we want to find the moment of inertia of this rectangle about an axis which is here let's say this axis is pp right which is 23 millimeter away from the centroidal axis so rectangle has height 20 millimeter base is 30 millimeter now we know that the area of the rectangle about any other axis we can find with the help of this uh, theorem which is parallel axis theorem i is equal to ic plus ad square so first we need to find IC, the moment of inertia of this rectangle about the centroidal axis. And that we know from the formula which is BHQ divided by 12. 
So B here, base is how much? 30 millimeter. Height is 20. So we will write 30 times 20 cube divided by 12. So if you do this calculation, you will get the uh, moment of inertia about uh, horizontal centroidal axis. So I is equal to 20 thousand millimeter 4. So this is I, which is IC here about the centroidal axis. Now we need area. So we will find area of this shape, which is area will be equal to 20 times 30. So just multiply, we will get 600 millimeter square. Now D, we have to find D. Where is D? Look, this axis P and P dash, this axis is 23 millimeter away from the horizontal centroidal axis. So D is 23. So we will put 23 square. Right? So I will write this formula, the parallel axis theorem here. I is equal to IC plus A D square. Now what is IC? We found it here. 20,000 millimeter 4. Right? Plus A D. A is the area which is 600 times D which is 23 and it is square so I will put square. So you just put all these values in the calculator you will get I and that I is equal to 337400 millimeter 4. 337400 millimeter 4. Now this is what? This is the moment of inertia of this rectangle about this axis which is 23 millimeter away from the centroidal axis. So this is again, this is a common geometrical shape but we have found the area of this shape about any other axis which was not the horizontal centroidal axis or vertical centroidal axis. That axis and keep it in mind, this axis, the parallel axis theorem when we are using once the, the axis about which we are finding the moment of inertia is parallel to the horizontal centroidal axis. So this axis, this, this which is 23 millimeter away, this must be parallel to the horizontal centroidal axis. That's why we use the parallel axis theorem. And that parallel axis theorem tells us this, we just replace the values and we got the moment of inertia of this rectangle about an axis which was 23 millimeter away from the horizontal centroidal axis. Now in the next video we will find moment of inertia of composite shape. Now this is again this is a common geometrical shape but if I have a shape let's suppose T shape right if I have C shape H shape so what should we do to find the moment of inertia of that shape about the centroidal axis of this shape and about any other axis uh, around this shape. It could be here, the axis, it could be here, here. We will solve in the coming video. So this is how you find moment of inertia uh, of common geometrical shape about horizontal centroidal axis and about any other axis which is parallel to the horizontal centroidal axis. So in the next video, we will solve for composite shape. That's it.